take that aid. I caught the University of Texas for 32 years, and as each man teed off, I would shake hands with him and tell him, you take that aid. That's uh, great advice. The basic goal of golf is getting the club face square to the ball at impact. This is achieved with the proper setup, that is, stance, aim, alignment, ball position, and distance from the ball. Setup is 80% of the game. It's crucial. If you don't have a proper setup, you will not play good golf. Now I want to introduce you to Tinsley Penick. Tinsley is head golf professional at Austin Country Club in Austin, Texas. He's the son of the legendary Harvey Penick and a master golf instructor in his own right. He'll be explaining the details of the setup. And now for your lessons. Welcome to the Austin Country Club. Today I'll be talking about the setup and to discuss the full swing is Mark Steinbauer, the winner of the Harvey Penick Teacher of the Year Award. Mark? Hi, Tinsley. It's great for me to be here today. I learned most of my instruction from your father, and for me to be here with you is very special. Our pupil today will be David Ty. David, Mark. Mark? Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Tell Mark a little about yourself. Well, Mark, I'm a CPA. I've been playing golf for over 30 years now, and I'm still trying to learn the game, so I'm really looking forward to this. Well, let's get right after it. Denzi, how important is your setup? A proper setup determines so many of the things that happens during a proper golf swing. A golf swing only takes two seconds. The setup can be very precise. If I can get your setup taken care of, it makes the swing a whole lot easier. Let's watch the swing and see what happens. David, now that we've got your setup exactly like you want it, let's walk through the mythical perfect swing that Harvey talks about. When the club starts off, let's swing it away as if you're swinging a bucket of water. And when the club reaches waist high, the toe of the club is in the air. As you progress the club to the top of the swing, the weight transfers to the right side. Your left heel comes off the ground. Now from here, if there's a magic move to golf, it's when your left heel returns to the ground, your right elbow to your side, as the club approaches the ball. From here, you hit the bottom of the arc in which your arms cross over the toe of the club is pointed in the air, and we finish the ideal finish with the elbows pointing down, the arms in front. What does a golfer do before he hits the ball? Number one, he aims it. He approaches the ball from the rear, drawing a straight line to his target in his mind's eye. Then he places the club behind the ball, squaring the club up to his target line. Now he's ready to take his stance, making sure his ball position is correct. Then he takes his grip, being sure that his posture and the distance he's standing from the ball is right. Then he glances at his target line. Now he's ready to concentrate on hitting the ball. Take that aim. The phrase take that aim X squared is really going to help in that respect. It takes all of the precise things that you do before you hit the ball, makes them correct, and then when you get up to hit it, all you think about is hitting the ball. Just, just hitting it, taking dead aim. And that's what you want to do. That's what that phrase means. Mm -hmm.